I'm Wayne Emanuel, and I'm a food blogger, a food consultant, a recipe developer, and an excellent cook. The meals out of my kitchen are always healthy, tasty, colorful, and highly nutritious. And that's because I put my heart and soul into preparing them. Join me as I take you on my culinary journey, where you would meet my family and some of my closest friends, and at the same time, learn how to make mouth-watering dishes in a snap. Prepare yourselves for a mouth-watering moment. Breakfast is certainly the most important meal of the day. You cannot begin a very long journey without first filling up your cup. So you shouldn't start your day without first eating a very healthy breakfast. I'm so excited to show you how I make my all-time favorite breakfast recipe. It's actually the egg and plantain frittata. Most of you are already acquainted with this recipe because I posted it on social media a couple of months ago and the feedback was amazing. So today you get to watch how it is made. Now I've started by sauteing one onion bulb in three tablespoons of olive oil. I'm just stirring it around. What I'm trying to do now is make the base for the frittata. Remember the frittata is two-way, that's the baking method and the gas cooker method. This filling is actually for both methods, the difference is just the method of cooking. So I'm making the filling for the two-way. In this I'm going to add two garlic cloves and I'm going to use this pretty garlic crusher. So just crush in my garlic. I love to cook with a lot of garlic because of the flavor it adds to this dish. And then you just grab it with your spoon and give it another stir. Okay, next up I'm going to add five tomatoes, Roma tomatoes that I have chopped. And stir. Do you hear the sizzle? That's the sizzle that I love to hear. Okay, so I'm just going to leave this to simmer for about three to four minutes. And while it's simmering, I'll just come over here and chop some sausage. Now I'm using smoked beef sausage. You can use chicken sausage or pork sausage. And that's it. I'll just come back and give this a stir again. So I'm just gonna add all of the sausage into the pan. This is indeed a very, very yummy dish. <laughs> and I'm just gonna give it a stir to combine all the ingredients. Okay. Then I'll just go ahead and add some seasoning. I'm using thyme, some curry powder. There's no frittata without some seasoning. <laughs> of course, I'm using some ground chili pepper because I like it hot and spicy. Some seasoning cubes and a sprinkle of salt to taste. And then I'll just stir it in again to combine all of the ingredients together. Okay, so I'll just leave this to cook for about one minute or two so that all of the flavors from the ingredients will go right into the whole dish while I clear out my cooking surface. And finally, for some pop of color and some freshness, I'm going to add some red bell pepper strips and green bell pepper strips. Give it one final stare and take it off the heat immediately. So that's the filling done. It's time to move up to the next level, and that is where the eggs come in. Break in eight eggs into the mixing bowl for each method, then sprinkle some salt for taste and give it a good whisk. Then transfer the filling into the egg mixture. Stir gently to combine. Next, you coat the baking dish and the frying pan with olive oil or melted butter or cooking spray. Then pour the mixture into the frying pan and baking dish and gently place some fried plantain right on top of the mixture to cover the entire surface. You can garnish with some red and green bell pepper strips for a pop of color. Place the baking dish in a 350 degrees preheated oven and place the frying pan on your gas cooker and reduce the heat to the lowest. Cover with the lid and allow to cook for 20 minutes or until the center is all firmed up. And voila, you have egg and plantain frittata. Now you have learned how to make egg and plantain frittata two ways, the baking pan method and the frying pan method. Make sure you do not go a day without having a healthy breakfast. 
before you begin your day. Very, very important. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get instant notification each time a video is uploaded and follow us on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram as Delicious Foods. For details of this recipe and other recipes, kindly visit our website www.deliciousfoods.com. And all of the dishwares and cookware that I used to make this dish was purchased at TZW Hotel and Home Collection. Yeah, the stock affordable and quality cookwares and dishwares that will make your cooking experience a whole lot easier, better and faster. I'll see you next time with another recipe. Until then, be good to one another. Bye!